body has been discovered like a week ago. Let's get this trash trial started so I can go, you know. I don't know what to say here. Hi, everyone. How y'all doing? Are y'all doing good? I'm doing pretty good. A little nervous to start this, considering I usually don't stream today, but you know, fuck it, it's fine. We're gonna get through this, even if, even if I have to die of embarrassment, because I'm not prepared for literally anything ever. Anyways, yeah, as he stated earlier, we're going to be starting the class trial, the second class trial of this entire game. A little excited, a little nervous, you know, the usual shit. We've been here before, so here we go. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Come on. Thank God for all to enter, I swear. And I am also glad that this game doesn't um, constantly go into windowed mode like in the original. Or not the original, um, like in Despair Girls, because having to alt enter every single time the game went into windowed mode was such a pain. Anyways, you ready for this? I'm not. I, I never come into these things prepared. All right, let's see. What can I investigate here? The Amazing Himiko's a Magic Show. I almost did the same thing I did yesterday, last week and, and said Himoko instead of Himiko. What can we investigate here? So not the piranhas, not the bones, near the water tank. Hold on! Almost forgot the gameplay music again. God damn it. Christ. It's the Lars water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, right. Ow, god damn it, hit my fucking heel against the chair. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I sh should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Ryoma's belongings, Ryoma's... What's left of his body, anyways. The bucket. Lighting panel. Hey, uh... You finding anything up there? Let's do the handcuffs, because... That's one thing I noticed when I was looking through the pod. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. There's small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so it's not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. They weren't in any they weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? The The Ultimate Magician's Lab! If they weren't in the warehouse, another place might have handcuffs is... Could it be... He's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some elements of that was in his lab as well? Nah, man. The ultimate magician's lab. It has to be. There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far from ran more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this pane? Square of glass pane of tank. I would have imagined it would have been where uh, Himiko made her escape, you know? Or maybe it would have fallen out of the tank? I'm not sure. The fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There's so many tiny pieces. But Gonda and Tenko who certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. I still hate that they didn't just smash it themselves. It's a bucket. 
full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas to put them in here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Ah, wait, yes I can. <laughs> when I think that Ryoma's inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Hey, Anji. <laughs> Only the strong can survive even this world that Atua has created. Amen. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can he really go there looking like this? But, but... Those piranhas should were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos, too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday. When we were preparing. No. More piranhas? Huh? What, did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but... But, but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into the tank. Ah, so they look more crammed together. Dear, which dear. would explain why the water looks so murky. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many par more piranhas there were. Oh, my! Oh, so, no. It wasn't a result of, the, of there being so many piranhas. But anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a surprise! Super, 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 super crammed. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. I want to imagine that they put the piranhas in there. Because my hypothesis is that R Ryoma was in the tank with the piranhas. And... <laughs> They put more piranhas in there so that either to hide his body better or to make sure that his body got eaten faster. One of the two. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Remember... Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well. The water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But his skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez, I know you wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us, who wanted to live. Huh? huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So what he could have... So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that we could have that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then... He was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't you reason... Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn, Damn it, that idiot! Alright, there is no need to be that judgmental, man. We almost belong he's are gathered together. His clothes, his mono pads, the key to his room. Oh. That's it! If we use the key... <clears throat> That's it! If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room! Hmm? What's in his room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then, you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point in thinking about that now. Excuse me. Alright. That's all I wanted to see around the water tank. <laughs> Anything up there? Uh, I, I remember your name, I promise. I should investigate this stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. Kirumi, that's your name. Anything up there? Hey. You were helping set up the show, right, Kirumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. So I do not know the details of a trick. Well, I see. Well, that's helpful. Well, let's see if there's anything suspicious about the tank itself. When I stood on stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The, 
bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it had a lid. I can't see the ceiling straight through. And only the front side of the glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the piranha tank had no lid. And only the front was made of glass. Hey, so... Oh yeah! That tank was from Himoko's... I did it again! This tank was from Himiko's research lab. Oh. Hey Kaito, you helped carry supplies from the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Anji. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know... It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Nice. It seems this is where the light baton for the gym is attached. Oh. Ah, Kirimu, Rumi. The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the baton. Or baton? Is it baton or baton? It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. Hmm. Hmm. I never knew the lighting batons, batons, whatever, were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Where'd I put my phone? I put it over there to charge. Hang on, I'm going to search what the fuck... How the fuck you pronounce batons? Baton, baton, whatever the fuck. E A T T E N S. Okay. <laughs> oh right. Um, I tried opening my uh, my web browser, but I forgot I put it on my drawing tablet screen so that I can see chat. How how to stop. Batten. Batten, got it. So it's not baton, it's batten. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we should be good. Ooh. Praying that my webcam didn't freeze. There we go. Alright. Gameplay. There we go. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Piranha tank is added to the to the bullet section of the handbook. Okay, so maybe that lid was not that lid. Maybe that glass panel was the lid. I mean, I'm I'm just trying to hypothesize what the fuck that panel could be, because it looks like it would be part of this, you know? There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Now then, light panel. Huh? What is this? It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the baton. Hmm. Ah, I see. Okay, well that would explain that. Close curtain. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Ah. Oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Kaito quickly headed off to the backstage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so... But, you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Ah, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? It's possible. The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? Is it going to be the pool? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. Called it. A pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. That should mean something to you, Mr. Ultimate Detective. <clears throat> the window frame has distinct abrasions 
perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Yeah, you should. <clears throat> I climbed down from the ladder to the stage. I should have brought myself a thing of water for this. You done investigating the window? Then I'll go back and I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that'll be great. Thank you, Kaito. Yes. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. It's almost as if you're the sidekick, Kaito. I investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. Mm -hmm. mm, we all done here? Then let's go! Okay. Yeah, okay. There's also a bit of tear in the... In the, uh... Hold on. You notice how some of those sections of those paper rings are torn up? Right in that part of the window? Do you think that has anything to do with this? Gonta! How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Go Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? You're... With Piranhas attack Ryoma, if Gonta had died in the tank, then Gonta could have helped Ryoma. But Gonta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Gonta, idiots! No, Gonta, don't downplay yourself like that. Don't put yourself down like that. You're a good boy. Sorry, Conta, really sorry. Come on, man. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if you had jumped in, they would have just eaten you too. That's true. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyways, Conta. Huh? Huh? Really? Does it say that Monokuma file? You know... You haven't read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta, not no. smart. No, Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. Dumbass! What are you talking about? If you've got time to apologize, you've got time to read the file! If you think you can't help, then work till you can! That's what you can do! You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Information? Only Gonta know? Remember. Remember? During the show, you went up onto the stage? That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm. Y yeah, because Gonta worried about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No, Gonta see no one in tank. Gonta kinda surprised. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! But if Gonta do nothing, Himoko get eaten by piranhas! Huh? Oh. But when the piranhas were dropped at the curtains open, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Um, yeah, that's right. So... Then when did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh, going to Go see. Going to dunno. Everyone see Ryoma in tank when piranhas drop in. After that... Sorry! Sorry, Gonta should have watched tank better. Dumbass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um, yeah, you're right. You know... But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappeared and was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point of this case. And I'm positive that he was in the tank with the piranhas. Kokichi! Hey. Could you be useful for once? I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. All right. It's time to hard. <clears throat> Time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. I hate you. Not the ladder, goddammit. Sumugi. Like I thought. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know why Ryoma was killed, right? But, but with the way she is, how do we convince her? Could it be? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him? And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show! Yeah! Or something like that. It happened before, probably. Samugi, you're a gem, but I do not think that's how it happened. Hey! Oh, God. Hey, Flemwad! There's something I want to... I need you to tell me! That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. Quite bitchy, actually. You know! What do you want, Miu? Or Mew, whatever the fuck. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard going to capture you guys last night. 
The hell was that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh, yeah. Tell me, too. I was also running, so I still don't know what went on. How did Mew escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why, you? Chop top, you slimy shit! Can I punch you in the throat? Uh, um... Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Sumugi, and Tenko and I. Himiko and Anji were brought in later. Huh? From the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room after around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's insects meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, about 11 p.m. I see. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are Kirumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is, thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? By the way, Mew, how were you able to get away from Gonta? What? Oh, uh, um, well, oh, wait. I forgot that she flashed him. Oh my god. Um, I, uh, had to use my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? Did you flash him? <laughs> Wait! Hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off. Come on. Yeah, man. she is. Should we let's just leave her be? Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. Insect meeting crate has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Noise. Anji! Ah, oh, that's right. You need to ask Anji about the stage. Angie! Er, Angie, not Anji. Angie. Hey, Angie. I wanted to ask you some questions about the stage. I... Yep. I was in charge of all of the art. I even built and painted the stage. And then... Uh, excuse me. Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No. No? I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Anji the secret, either. Uh, um... Uh, by the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Uh, yep. We all... We started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like... When we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo helped with that. The tank had a pulley, so... But because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kiri Rumi to sew the curtains, because I hate sewing. Thanks, Bitu Atua. <laughs> oh my gosh. So basically, it's all thanks to Atua, and the show was a success. Nah. No, it's because of all of us. Is it really a success? Uh, um... By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because... Oh, on its own, the underwater escape act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua has spoken. That's what, At That's what Atua told me. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um... And about the piranha tank and the timer. Those are from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course! Yep, yep! According to the Piranha Tank's manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the Piranha Tanks will open automatically. I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when we finish the prep work, and we're about to take a break, <laughs> Gonta captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. <laughs> Jeez. When Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know... Oh, yeah. You can't enter the gym at night time. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. So we get, decided to come to the gym today, before the morning announcement. Thank you. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved when she was on the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. Oh. What's up, Suichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing in escape out to a site. Not even the culprit. Yeah! Of course.
powers. <laughs> Akuma is just truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie's starting to sound more and more creepy. Alrighty then. Himika! Yeah. The magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Himiko! Don't worry, everyone is smiling. I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um, Himiko, if it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But... I'll protect you! Okay, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. <laughs> Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido! You're not being helpful, Tenko. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idle events. I, for one, hate this guard. Hey! Degenerate male! If he Himiko... Shut the fuck up. If Himiko says it was magic, then it's magic! Got it? I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate males who bully Himiko! I hate you. But if we don't understand the magic trick, how can we possibly survive the trial? Jesus. Kibo. Um. Although there are mo many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is... When was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick works and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone watching this show isn't suspicious. But Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... No, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise. So I was eating breakfast. You got it! I'm not suspicious! Oh, dear. I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. Hey, Kurikiyu. Got anything? However, I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I think that was the sole... I don't think that was the sole motive. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's magic trick and made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell us some... <clears throat> did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well then... Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Keel murmured almost to, him, to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, well, let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We followed Ke Keel backstage. How did I forget there was a... Oh. Okay, after I investigate backstage, I'm going to go get myself some water. What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This puddle... This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone was wet? Perhaps someone who was wet was doing something? That's true. Changing wet clothes? But... But how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the suitcase? Could it be... This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Wet staircase was added. Rope. This is a pretty long rope. Was this used? What was this used for? Hmm. I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. Quite a shame it could have been 69. Then we would have had quite the laugh. <laughs> huh? You can tell just by looking at it. But of course, I am well versed in ropes. Don't ask how. I once visited a village where they. Uh, Use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on the investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? I don't want to know what he was talking about, quite frankly. The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the side are wet. 
That might be something to do with the puddle next. Something to do with the puddle next to it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. There's something strange about it from behind. Other than the large size, it's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. You know, except for that door right there on the staircase. You notice the hinges there, right? <laughs> Very mysterious. How I wondered, did Himoku escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figure it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, you will discover how Ryoma got in there. Hint, hint, people. That is true. There is a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I hate to reveal how Himoko managed to get out of the tank. I would investigate just about everything. But there- what about the- Hold on. What about the door? But I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so... Hey, how long are we gonna investigate here? We still gotta find the culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Kaito! Wait, Kaito! Well, I gotta go get some water, so I... I believe we investigated everything we need for now. Ugh. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. We, they're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which motive video he had. Then I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. I deduced that the handcuffs were found in the water tank probably came from there. I'm telling you, man, it was probably from the Ultimate Magician's lab. Is that everything? Oh. Well, last of all, to the Ultimate Magician's lab, I want to know more about Himoko's trick. Himiko! If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. So we've still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Suichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Ah, right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Yes. Is there a right way to respond to that? Uh, probably not. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. Let's go. Yes, I would very much like to leave. Got myself some water here. Not as good as the gamer subs, but you know what? It'll have to do. I'm just kind of vibing to the music right now while we go through rooms. I seriously want to know what this room is. Like, what is that? Let's go. 
Oh, hi, guys. Hmm. So this is Himiko's research lab. What were we gonna investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that, but what if it was real magic? With no tricks or mechanisms? That's... Well, that would be a problem. But if it's not about the... But it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. Hey, what's up? I'm just kind of here. Chuichi. Hey, Chuichi. Did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. Stop with the flirting, dipshit. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey. I do, actually. It's about when we ki were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You stuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for the nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey! And what were you doing then? Um, it'd be easier if I. God damn it. It'd be easier if I just explained, step by step, what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gata brought, Gonta brought Himiko and Anji. That was about five minutes before 9 p.m. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorms. There we go. I thought I'd be back in an hour, the start of night time, but something happened. <gasps> hmm. Something happened? Right when I got to the entrance hall, Hirumi stopped me, spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me about my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? If I remember correctly... Does, didn't you ask Hirumi to be your mom earlier? That's so mean. She just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. The nighttime rolled around. Huh? A whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave, and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of electing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. That is... is that a request? Oh, no. So that means... And then I guess Kirumi decided to take that tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me a little after t before 10 p.m. And she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So, so your alibi is still... Alibi still... <clears throat> so your alibi still hold up even when she was chasing you around. Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah. They shouldn't hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kirumi have alibis. <laughs> after Kirumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. By the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. <sighs> I think I know who it was. I wonder who it was girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? Kokichi's account has been added to your By the way, pad. By the way, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? And what were you doing? I was running around the whole time. I hid in the bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Hmm, I see. Don't start. Don't you start. I swear to God, you can start blaming Kaito for this. Samugi! Hmm. What were you doing here, Samugi? Um, huh? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm playing, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. Aw. Ah. Is that so? Hey, so. So? Did you find any clues? Um, I'm still thinking about that. Hmm. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. No. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found anything. Yeah. 
Then go get to it. Looking around is how we find clues. But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Samugi gave Kokishi a meaningful glance. Hey! So I decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. You know what? That is a very good plan. Thank you. Large water tank. <laughs> it's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me in Kibo when we carried the tank out here. Then, then perhaps we investigate this tank. We can learn the secret of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. Sorry for all the wrestling. I'm just trying to get comfortable in this chair. I was looking for anything that would be a switcher mechanism. Hmm. hmm. What's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. Why open up there? Hmm. Oh wait, perhaps this isn't random. This segment had to open up here. Water tank trick was added to the truthful section of your handbook. This was the part that goes into the stairs. Holy shit! I uncovered the mystery. Pretty sure anyone would have uncovered the mystery. What a huge saw. Oh, wait, 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 is there anything else? I guess that's everything? Should I have talked to Kaito? I'll have to keep a mental note of that just in case. I love the music in this game, man, I swear to God. All right, let's see. What the fuck is that? Huh? There's something else floating in the pool. It looks like a little piece of fabric. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. You know, we're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Okay. Uh, yes, but. Perhaps it's just my intuition, but this does bother me. It's not just your intuition, man. It's common sense kicking in. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition is the ultimate detective. Black piece of fabric was added to your monopad. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. I see. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. Rise and shine, Ursine! Why did that scare me that time? Jesus. Oh, look at us. I, do, I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Marada might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid idiots! We're not here to play! We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell! We're the Mono Cubs! The meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around! Dumbass. If you don't get it, I'll throw y'all into the pool myself! Ah! Please don't! Manasuke, please stop. We can't all just... <clears throat> Sorry. Can't we all just get along? What? You say that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this last time, but I actually kind of suspect that Mono, uh, Monosuke might be next on Monodom's hit list. That's what I suspect anyways. So long, farewell. So then, so then it was one of us that put the inner tube there? 
Not the mono cubs. Well, it doesn't matter. The other two probably doesn't, isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case. If it were just playing for playing around, then why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That's intriguing. It did say he was drowned, so my. Hmm. Still trying to ponder this. Um. Hang on. Move, Kaito! Thank you. Is there seriously no coins here I can collect? Come on, man. Well, either way, um... Oh yeah, the gym window. You can see the gym's window over there. That's the window we investigated from the top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just the ladder. Okay. I agree. The ladder only barely reaches the window, and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gotten through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. Anything else? Yeah, there's definitely something else. How about the storage room? This is, this is the pole's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. Huh? Is that? An electric air pump? I see. You could easily fill up a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. Anything else? No, there's still things to investigate. How about this? It's a large diving board. It looks like something you find in a resort. Nothing's changed. How about the pool itself? It doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. There's still plenty of water to swim in. The water level hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. Yeah, the inner tube in the bit of a fragment. A fabric. What else? In here, you two feet wide, they're doing flying, yada yada yada. Here I am! Oh, no jumping into the pool! Especially at night time! Whoa, where do you come from? I mean, jumping yourself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no. But the pool is off limits at night time! See? No swimming at night time! That's. That would be a violation, right? If anyone violates the school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare! And then that person will be ripped apart by the XZ cells! What? Should go that far? Well, so far the siren has gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um <clears throat> Since that the that's the eh, Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Well, at the very least, no one alive. Bye bye! No swimming at nighttime. That just might play into this case. Hey, so. Hey, Suichi. Does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. But. There were three! Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to the case. But you, know. but you know, if that inner tube is related to this case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that. Don't you think that's just straight up careless? No. No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that could, you could use to get the inner tube. Remember, the water level is so low you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. 
Oh, there's the, I was about to say, where's the text? Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, that's right. They couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. I suspect that perhaps the rope from the er, from the other uh, from backstage and the rope on the uh, inner tube might be connected somehow. Don't quote me on that. Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Let's go check out the other places. All right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, Sidekick? You're right. Yeah, sure. Oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. I almost forgot. Um, I remember in the last class trial, there was some, uh, things I wanted to buy, but... Should I... Is that only available during the class trial, or am I able to buy them here on the on the monopad like I did in Naganropa 2? I'll have to investigate that later, but I'm definitely... I definitely want to buy us a few perks before we get into, uh, into the trial this time. Where was I going? I already got the Magician's Lab. I already entered the pool. Why is this game so laggy? It was not this laggy before. And, uh... Oh, yeah! Tennis Pro's Lab. 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 Here we go, Mario! Mario, we got to go investigate the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. Oh, Luigi, I already know. I don't know. I'm just trying to fill time. <laughs> Sorry. Go around here. Does anybody else notice that? The game's lagging super hard. I don't know if it's just because of, like, multiple tabs being opened or what, but goddamn. Really starting to bother me. Oh. That net was not like that before. The ultimate tennis pros lab. If I'm right, then the handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of some evidence, like this net. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? No. Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Hang on. Kaito, please move. I got tennis balls to hit. I just noticed the racket there. Ooh. Can I not investigate the net? I cannot. Even though it's pretty damn obvious that it was... Oh. Okay, then. This is the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the ultimate tennis pros. So I guess it was here. And more like the ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. <sighs> Jeez, Anakuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. True. I thought it was just a regular tennis pro shower room. Jesus Christ! This is a pretty big stone sink. You should fill it up with you could fill it up with a lot of water. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone. Like something was scraped against it. So You're right. What made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Like the handcuffs! So maybe he wasn't drowned in the tank with the piranhas, but was drowned in the sink here. Holy shit! There they are, the handcuffs. Um, look, Kaito, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, oh, they look just like the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the same? Because I think so. Here, look. Remember, see, one empty hook. The handcuffs were found. We found must have been hung here. 
That means the culprit was definitely here. <laughs> Scratch handcuffs have been updated in the truthfulest section of your Monica pad. Nice. Anything else? Monitor. No. Ooh. Window. This window has no vines or barbed wires. Or bars blocking it. Could it be? There was that one window I could see from the pool area. This might be it. I'm gonna open it and check. Just as I yeah, this is definitely it. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. This is not the same. <laughs> Third floor is high up, but if they aimed well, they could reach the pool. But Monokuma said you can't go in the pool at night time, right? If anyone violates a school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart by the exit halls! You go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's needed to be ripped apart. Yet. <laughs> because that hasn't happened yet, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at night time? Well, at the very least, no one alive. So his body was probably thrown from that window into the pool and then fished out with the inner tube! Right? That makes sense. Why'd he say no one alive? Is that alright? I believe he was hinting at the, a dead person would be considered to be breaking the rules. Which means it is possible that a dead body was in the gym or the pool at nighttime. No. So there's a chance Ryoma was carried to the gym after he was killed? But you know, there's no point carrying his body there if you can't get in. Ah, I don't know if it's safe to say there was no point. Wait a sec, what's this? Huh? huh? Hey, so... Look, there's weird scratches on the window frame. You're right. Yeah, it's as if something scraped against it. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. And positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. Ah, crap, hang on. There we go. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold, even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi! Now you understand, right, Shuichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue! Kaito Momota. It's all Luminary in a day's work for star. Kaito Momota! Luminary of the stars! I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. Okay, so maybe... So March window frame has been updated. Maybe they tied the rope in backstage. And then like used it to climb through both of those windows. I mean it's a it's a hypothesis, but it could be. It could be. We came here to confirm my suspicions about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab. There are too many points of concern to be mere coincidences. It must be important evidence. Hey. It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. All right. All right. Then no, not to the next place. There's no point staying here. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. We also got to go to his dorm. I would like to leave. Thank you. Hey, Agua. So... so where should we go? Whoa. Oh. As he came out of the shower room, Kaito tripped and fell on the ground. Did he trip on the net? Hold up. The hell? Something's on my leg! That's... Ah, it looks like a cable. Ah. Is this for the tennis net? Man, whoever led this here should have put it in the corner. Wait, the tennis net? Hmm. I see, so that's how the room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. Yeah, finally you noticed the tennis net. Jesus! <laughs> The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When I came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now the cable has been removed. Huh? So why would someone take so? <clears throat> so like someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? Maybe they use the cable as a as a as a what do you call it? I don't know what it's called. Hey, Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. Huh? 
What? Oh, I was in the tennis club until middle school, so I know how long this cable is. Uh, you were in the tennis club? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey! Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to everyone, every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So... So what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother you? No. No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. So detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a, a young wife. Uh, um... What is that analogy? So the rope was 65 feet in length, and the cables 50 feet. And both of them were probably used in the crime, so what connection does the cable and the, the rope have? Because something had to have made those marks on the window, so maybe... May, I suspect that the cable was used to, to either climb up from the window to the pool and then from the pool to the gym. Or was he to carry Yoma's body? I don't know. Get to turn around in this goddamn maze. Goddamn it. Oh fuck's sake, these aren't right over here. This staircase over here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Fuck. I just wanna get through. It's got to trial now. Maybe I can finally finish this game properly. Do -do -do -do. side bingo <clears throat> so this is Ryoma's room huh so where's his video I don't see it sitting on anywhere maybe he put it on his bookcase Taito opened all the drawers one by one checking each of them hmm? that's weird I can't find it anywhere You're right I see so we can't find it. That's all right. That's a clue in itself. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Hey. You see, if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. Wait a minute. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah. It's okay. true. And the video is not in the room, which means... Got it. So it's just like we thought! That video was the motive! Okay. Yeah, that's the best explanation I can think of. That's my sidekick. Alright, that's just what I expected from my sidekick. Shuichi! What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking... I mean... Maybe we should have watched those bonus videos after all. Okay, I'll explain my hypothesis earlier or later. Huh? What? Nah. They show the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean At the time I agree with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watched them together. Uh, um, Watch them together? Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everyone's motives. Even if something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? That is true. Oh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Huh? Huh? Hey. 
Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think this is the same? No, if that was what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would, would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true. It's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Okay, anything else? What am I missing? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so that hypothesis. You know how everyone was giving demands to Kirumi over here? Well, um, Ryoma wanted Kirumi to clean his room, so... You think? Maybe? I mean, I don't know if, it's, if that's the case, but... Maybe. Alright, where the hell do we go next? I checked the dorm, I checked um, the, the, the tennis court and the prison, I checked the pool. Where else is there? Oh yeah, I, I, did I also check uh, everything in uh, Himiko's lab? be something here, right? I don't know why I'm going around here, but... Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> Guess it was a good thing anyways. Those things scare the fuck out of me, man. Did I check everything? I suppose I was gonna ask... There's gotta be something else that I missed, right? I, I don't remember what I missed, though. What's the matter? We don't know when the class trial's gonna be, so we can't just leave okay. a walk. Oh, I know that, but where else was I gonna investigate again? I forgot. Is there anything I needed in Himiko's lab? I mean, if that if that was the case, they probably wouldn't have let me leave, right? I have no idea. We go back to the gym just in case. No, that's okay. not it. Where are we supposed to go, though? I don't remember where we go. Okay, did we... How about here? Is there anything I missed? What you know. Huh? Oh, idiot. Miles to people. I see. Yeah. The space. I can't believe I travel across the Milky Way. I believe I will meet aliens. Flying around, yada yada. <laughs> You're so dumb. <sighs> what? Uh. Um... No need to yell. All right. There's got to be something I missed here, right? I mean, right? No, there's nothing here. Again, they would have let they wouldn't have let us leave if that were the, if there was anything else to investigate. So, 
What else is here? Where else do we have to go? Maybe in one of the labs? I don't know. What's the matter? Nope, not okay. here. Ultimate entomologist lab, maybe? What's the matter? No. Where the fuck do we go? I legitimately don't know. <sighs> where do we go? I don't know where to go. Oh, hey, you two. What are you doing here, Kirumi? Do you agree? We all agreed to investigate at least one other person's parent present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced at Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you were staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, what's we're done with the trial? Can I get a massage? No. But of course, since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? Guys, can you fucking stop giving requests to Kiru Kirumi? We're in the middle of our fucking investigation, for Christ's sake! Time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning every one in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, um... Right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around six in the evening. So last time I saw him it was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Yeah. Then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. That is correct. Yes. <clears throat> Gonto was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his Tsukuchi method. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Miyu saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. yes, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Good thinking. Witnessing Ryoma has been added to the truthful section of Ryomana pad. Maki! Bitch! Hey! Friend! Pal! Buddy! Hey! Maki, what are you doing here? Um... Earlier you said you weren't you wanted to help us investigate. Are you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine. Even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can't solve this case on your own? Uh, um... That that's completely different. This is... <laughs> that's pretty harsh. But my sidekick is working his ass off. Huh? Sidekick? Got it. Yep, Shuichi's my sidekick now. Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the sidekick. So... The, the, the dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't be a... Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I'd know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been here ever since the room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch. Making sure no one else enters. I don't understand. This is... Is this an interrogation? No. Ah, no. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this was nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey! It's true that you don't have anything to help us, but you don't want to. Is that alright? You should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because? Because all our lives are on the line. Is that so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. 
course. Then, can I ask you this? Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? You see. Gonta did not... Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, if you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. I... <laughs> okay, then. Hmm. So Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against a girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. Hey, so. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in He's you. my psychic, you know? He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. No one else can verify that testimony. Might be a problem later. Is that it? Maki alone has been headed to the truthful section. There we go! Time to move on. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Okay, fuck. Fuck off. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? And the class trial ah, is it. starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. <laughs> See you later. <sighs> Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, okay. Y yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me? Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the call. Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might be betrayed in the end, but I if I worry you. about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi! Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself into gear now, then when? Then when? Now's all you got. Yeah, that's right. You know, I never thought you would have said something so inspirational, Kaito. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. That's it. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never! Oh boy. So, let's get to the trial. How is moving diagonally faster than moving forward? I and I never noticed that. Like, is there a technical reason for why you can only move diagonally to go faster? Oh. Kaito? Sorry, I got turned around. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's go to the Shrine of Judgment. Yeah, there we go. Hey again, Kaito. Don't worry about it. Yep, that's 
Same thing as before. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, that beautiful shrine. The beautiful shrine everyone. that represents Monokuma's hubris and ego. And ego. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Not like we have choice, right? <laughs> you are quick to understand. It's as though Monokuma has you trained. What? We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Hey. Right, Himiko? <laughs> How dare you bully Himoko, you degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? I think I would rather rather chop your head off than his. Mainly because you're the closest proximity to me right now. Wait. That's not even Aikido anymore, is it? Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. That's right. Yeah, let's put an end to this. At the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Hang on. I might I might want to be buried with my mono coin. Shut up. All right, let's do this. Still looks weird. The door appeared before us with pomp, as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped towards the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing, just as we passed through the door. <laughs> started up again. Whew. Normally I wouldn't mind the shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without further footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged, my heart pounding harder and harder. But when I thought I would pass out from the nerves, the elevator came to a stop. This wasn't the end, no. It was just the beginning, as always. Welcome! Welcome! You've hopelessly arrived once again! Hmm? Huh? Did you want to come here because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into the building this place. It should be a monument! Aww. Actually, we're the ones who used the Exesis to build the courtroom. But Father took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by father. Definitely. What are you saying? You idiots are really committing to this henchman bit. They're so cute. You guys are just so cute that I cannot work in you to the bone. I hate that tongue so much. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom. Almost like it's for show. Oh. For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Mm -hmm. Is this just for a show? Are you showing this to the people outside and... <laughs> Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're no longer with us. You know what I mean? Hey, um... In other words, you're, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now show me how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> Then the class trial began. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis player. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. From that, he was trying to find a reason to live. 
He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. I don't want to believe that's... I want to believe that's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. But... If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here. In order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. And I will get up and stretch before the class trial starts. As soon as I save. There we go. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I'll be right back. Gonna go get up and stretch, as is tradition. BRB!
I'm back, junior detectives! Y'all ready for this shit? Cause I'm not. <sighs> Let's see what kind of skills I can buy. I only have six? Jesus! Do I not have this set? Did I, did I not have that set last time? Increase the amount of letter cubes that can be acquired at once. What the fuck is Psych Taxi? Power of life and death. Makes it easier to push the opponent back during blade lock. Effective during battle showdowns. Removes the time penalty for breaking a non-erasable piece. Effective during the imagination and excavation. I might save up. I might you get that next time because I have no idea what this is. Anyways, the tension gauge will increase at a faster rate, effective during argument argument. What is the point of the tech of the tension gauge? Anyways, I have no idea. Increase maximum influence a little, effective during all parts of the class trial. Can't be combined with envious influence. What the hell is envious influence? Increases maximum focus. You know what? Let's get maximum focus. I didn't have that set, did I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's see what we have here. The victim is the only tennis pro. The victim's body is covered in the gym. Consciousness was drowning. After the victim's body was consumed by piranhas, until the bone remained. Water escape act. Since it was made of stainless steel, it was difficult to leave any marks, but the strong scratches were so visible. He's been taking another shower. The square panel that was at the bottom right of the bottom of the piranha tank where Riyama's body had appeared. The other bits of glass were shattered, but this pane remained perfectly square. The piranhas had ate Riyama. Before the magic show, Andre said that it looked like there were more piranhas compared to when she prepared for the show the night before. <laughs> hmm. The water tank had the piranhas inside. It was kept in the ultimate magician's lab and carried over by Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, and Anji. During the magic show, it was hung over the, the water escape tank using the control panel for the stage lights. <clears throat> Only the front side was made out of glass. The other sides were made of wo wood. It looked like there was no lid for the top from the start. But then how would they have gotten the piranhas in there? Would they had to have scooped them out? Marked window frame. The window frame of the top window in the gym, it had distinct abrasions as if it was scratched by something. There was the same distinct abrasions on the window frame of the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab window. The window faced the pool and gym. During the magic zone when the timer hit 20 seconds, Gonta went up top of the stage, but no, no one was in the tank during that time. Gonta didn't notice Ryoma inside the water tank until after the piranhas was released. Confirming, uh, somewhat, um, supporting my hypothesis that Ryoma was in the piranha thing. Oh, shit. The night before, Shuichi and some of the others were forced to stay in the ultimate entomologist lab by Gonta, who was tricked by Kokichi. Himoko and Anji were brought in 5 minutes to 9pm, Kokichi left at 9pm. Suichi and the others were forced to participate in the insect meet and greet until later after 11 p.m. Gotcha, gotcha. Behind the stairs that led up to the stage, there was a puddle. The stairs themselves were not wet in certain places. It doesn't seem like the stairs could have gotten wet when the water tank broke. Immediately after Kokichi left the ultimate entomologist lab at 9 p.m. last night, he was caught by Kirumi in the entrance hall. He stayed with her until 10 p.m. After he went to the dorms and returned to the Ultimate Entomologist Lab at 11, he saw the figure of a girl in lingerie wandering around the courtyard a few times. A hatch near the top that opens the water tank. A piece of fabric that was floating in the pool. At first glance, it looks like trash. Entering the pool is prohibited during nighttime. The sink in the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. It looks large enough to fill a good amount of water into it. There were small scratches on it, as if it was scraped by something. Found in the ground in the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab, the tennis... Net cable was properly set up when Shuichi came to the lab by the first time around, but the wire had been taken out later. The wire was around 50 feet in length. The last person who saw Ryoma was Gonta. It was around 8 p.m. last night. Miyu also saw Ryoma 30 minutes before that. 
Maki was sitting guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room until during nighttime. Okay. Well, let's begin. All rise! Sorry. In session! Usually it says all rise, sorry. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Did y'all notice that uh, uh, Mono Kid's uh, stand has a sign like the other, uh, like everyone else with the X on his portrait? I'm oh, sorry. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial underway! I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's... Let's combine our power and work together, everyone! Um... The person who's most suspicious is... Now let me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit! Tenko, shut the fuck up! Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... I'm in top form today! Tenko! Why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me! Huh? I'm not interrupting you! Bullshit with that shit eating smile! Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S E. Himiko seems suspicious. Anji? Or Angie? Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Natua is telling me. Angie, you're being a little suspicious right now, and I don't like that. He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Okay, now you're acting like a... what are they called? <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. Give me a second. You're acting like a cult leader. I'll just say that. You're acting like a cult leader. Screw Atua! That guy's got nothing on me! I'll protect Himiko! But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. Please stop saying that, Himiko. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Angie, you're scaring me. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. We don't know that yet. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. But there's no trick. That really was magic. You know, maybe it really was magic. Oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her could kill anyone. I get that you want to defend her. That might be a bit much. As I expected, the others suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. Let's do it then, bud. Let's see. File 2, scratch handcuffs, square glass panel. Water tank trick. The culprit used the underwater escape trick to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. Nah, goddammit. <laughs> that fucking worked! 
The tent above Ryoma opened and Brunas came pouring out. Ah, he was in the water. Oh my god. Bone by piranhas. <laughs> I didn't think the truth bullet would work at getting rid of the white noise. That's amazing. The underwater escape was no trick. It's magic. They heard you the first time, Titless. No one cares. Jesus Christ. Ryoma's body was eaten by piranhas that fell into the tank. That is a fact, but that doesn't mean it was the cause of death. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. Mm. The culprit used the underwater escape trick to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. Maybe the water tank After that, here. the time ran out. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Ah, he was eaten alive! He to go by no, he wasn't eaten alive. He was drowned. That's probably it. No, that's wrong. Either that or the water tank the trick with the uh no, no, that that would contradict it. No Alright. Let me try that. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. Where's the No the No the There we go. Jesus Christ. Where's the there it is. Oh there it is, damn it! I wanted to do the V the V contradicts. God damn it. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Alright, alright, we know, we know. Hang on. Yes, I'm being picky. Shut up. Shut up! Yep, 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 yep. Damn it! That's wrong! <sighs> no, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. Well, it wasn't the piranhas then. It was drowned. Okay, I'm gonna turn up. I, I know I skip this every time, but I want to see if I can turn up the voices. No, that max. God damn it! I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. Why wouldn't you check him over the trial? You lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male! I want to punch you in the throat so goddamn bad. So what? Ryoma drowned, Kimiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? No. No, Kimiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they changed places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. My leg's falling asleep. If that is the case, then when did he drown? Probably around 8 p.m. When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously... before the show started. That's it! Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank, and then show it during the act. Easier said than done! Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh wait! Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Because it's magic. <sighs> Come on, dude! You know, maybe it really was magic. Give this. Kimiko is committed to her act, but those who deal in dreams are off liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Man, we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. I think I know how it works. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. 
Then let's work together to reveal the secrets behind Himiko's trick. So, not real magic? No, it was real magic. Himiko, come on. usually more, um, complicated than that? Anyway, we need to... We first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. If I can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. I think I know a way. Just a sec. Scratch handcuffs, cramp prize, go into this account. How water tank trick! How did escape the water tank? Maybe she just slammed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. Something like that. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Up, oh, what, 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 the, what, 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 Yes! I agree! Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. See, so it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Mind over strength! Oh god, come on, Tenko! No! Your logic is all wrong, Shuichi! How? What do you mean? Know why you're wrong either, typical degenerate male. Just use your mouth and explain. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. How about you? Let's just get this over with. Battle showdown. On a tank, wet staircase. The tank being open doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now, I'm gonna punch you! Wait a second. Before you punch me, what makes you so sure she did? Because if she escaped from a hatch in a tank, Shit. the water would have gushed out with her! There would have been water everywhere! No, that's not it. And that would have caused everything to be soaked in water? Well, you're wrong! I was wrong! <laughs> we know that, dude. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her! There would have been water everywhere! That wouldn't be magical at all! The whole trick would be ruined! With that out of the way, I'm gonna punch you! Oh my god. It's true that if she opened the tank, water would come rushing out. But that's exactly why there was a second step to this trick. If I could figure out what, why the hatch was in that exact spot, I'll know the answer. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. What? But... Oh my god. Uh, well then what is it then? Because... If she escaped from a hatch in it, the water would have gushed out with her! There would have been water everywhere! What about this? No? Give me! Oh my god, this is frustrating! Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her! There would have been water everywhere! Wait, was I. Oh no! What is happening? If she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Maybe if I... There we go. Okay, oh, so I was right. Words. I just... I just slashed the wrong thing on accident because the words were circling the, the weak point. Okay, I'm an idiot. The reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. So I was right then. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. 
meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Finiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. Yep. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? Mm hmm The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. Like the puddle. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Haha, <laughs> bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! Oh god, I hate you. <laughs> Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No, magic had nothing to do with her clothes. <clears throat> no, magic had nothing to do with why her clothes were wet. Jesus. She changed her uniform. That's it. It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? <laughs> Seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. I don't mean to make you upset, upset, hon, but you got no choice. Why would you say that? I see. She had a towel, too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair, but her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet, because her body repels water. Henko, shut the fuck up. Huh? Like a duck? Wank. Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. So I was correct. But, but that doesn't mean I used them. I didn't need them. I used my magic! Again with the magic crap! Were you dropped on your head as a kid? I sure you were dropped on your head as a kid. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? I have a hypothesis. From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? If you find necrophilia kinky, I think there's something wrong with you, Mew. That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way, she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is? Hmm. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Nope. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Uh, 
Kanji, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? That is true. But... You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. What? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. That would be profound if it wasn't coming from you. <laughs> Alright. Both those account, insect mean Greek, the only one account. who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Shit. Let me see, let me see Gonta and, and, and uh, Kokichi's account. Gonta went up the stairs. Oh, wait. So. They switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have. I seen think Gonta's account is right. Is the one to use this one. It would have occurred one. in the middle of the show, when the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. Ah. Yoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist. I hate you. She's not lying. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips. Is it possible that Himiko and Ryoma switched places in the water? But I feel like I'm forgetting an important point. The only one who could have switched. Damn it! She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Switched places with it. Yeah, but no one could have seen it happen. No one saw anything. There we go. That's wrong. How did I not get a V counter in that one? Jesus. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. So far, we haven't had to lie yet, so maybe? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's actually a great clue, because... If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Kimiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Exactly. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? No. She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point, for the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Mm-hmm. Um, body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. Piranha tank, I'm telling you, it was the piranha tank. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? Scratch cuffs, square panels, piranha tank. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himika. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. I think maybe that one? Then maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. 
Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? Was Why was he not eaten by the piranhas, even though he was in the same tank? There was one piece of evidence at the crime scene that might explain it. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? Hmm. It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? Maybe that's Draw. why the, the, the square glass behind. panel was there. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Hmm. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. Let me try that. But we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas... There we go. I agree. Kyo's hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas were separated. So this that's why that was using there. The square glass pane found in the tape. <laughs> Just as I thought. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. How the hell would they have gotten in there without a lid? Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! So Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. Holy shit! Right when the buzzer time hit zero, the buzzer went off. When the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, the murky water and shadowy shapes inside. Fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? No. Now that going to think about it... Gonta made me see Ryoma's body. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. The extra piranhas! A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? So that's why there was more crammed in there than usual. Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. How, the, how was the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Crammed piranhas. This is it! It was the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. Jesus Christ, you're stupid. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, 
It was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. So it did have a lid! I was right! Holy shit! It was a lid! Hey, thanks for telling us that useless detail. That's not useless, you idiot! What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! This much evidence? It seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Someone's gonna pull something out, but aren't they? Mm, really? Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better! That's wonderful news, Himiko! Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Auntie! You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now! Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. He had full Who's reason to doubt him. God. Dude, no, all gods are pretty okay. petty. You have you mad at Angie. Like, have you seen the Greek gods? Those fuckers were petty as hell. What was the god of love's name? She was the most petty. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart! That's what Atua said, anyway. What? It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Mm -hmm. Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunked out of tard school or something? Nuh-uh. Not everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Mm -hmm. Huh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. Normally I tell you to shut the fuck up, but I hate me you, so keep going. Who you calling a dumb pig? You, bitch. If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set up the scene. Yesterday... I believe... Uh... Yesterday during nighttime? Ah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Before the show this morning? No, it would have been. Ah. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yesterday before nighttime. That's it. Jesus. It was done yesterday before nighttime. Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again! Wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. The bitchlet? First, oh God. The don't tell me you're getting off to this. So no one could have entered. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? No, she means the alarm. Jesus Christ. After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. Okay, shut up. I. Shut up. <laughs> I stop, 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 
Stop it! So the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Hang on. Okay, there we go. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. The source of the information? Uh, where is it? Where is it? This one? No. Oh no! God damn it. All right, try again. I meant to right left click and, and scroll here. There we go. Gah! Damn it. God, I look like an idiot. All right, try again. Show, let's show the question. What clue helps determine Ryoma was killed? When Ryoma was killed. This. This is it. Okay. I'm an idiot. If we can find out who last saw Ryomo alive, we can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um. When Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m. Mm hmm. If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, the culprit would have had two hours. The crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period. Yes. Not so, here. Enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mu, and also... Maki. Wow, Kirumi! You would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth. So I do not care if people suspect me. Oh, beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Mm. But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Right. Fuck that noise! But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Think I'm suspicious? I don't even know where the gym is. I hate you so much. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? This is the first trial all over again. The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. What? What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. <laughs> anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Time for another panic. Oh, wait, remember now, I do have an alibi. You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the 
trial progresses. No I'm not way the on the culprit. Oh no! The mass panic debate is gonna start! That's what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy! But let me give you another tutorial first. The mass panic debate this time around will have loud voice dialogue! This is when your opponent shouts their opinion in a loud voice! That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it! Oh no! What do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's, it's just like white noise. Shut it up with your left-click silencer! After that, all of the arguments will be audible again. Then you just shoot the truth more at the weak spot! Get on the drill! Thanks for your... <clears throat> Damn it! Thank you for your understanding! Alright, let's see. Cool rules, Maki alone with his mom. What is your alibi? When I was running from the Things got a little heated if you catch my trailer. Nothing else perfect! What's Maki's alibi? And then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? I was in my room. Did Kokichi have any. Let's see the. In front of you. He was caught by Kurumi in the entrance. He stayed there until 10 p.m. After he, after he went to the dorms for a turn, he saw the figure of a girl in laundry wandering around the courtyard a few times. Okay, I think Kokichi's account might be good for. What? No, in my own room! I need to sort out everyone's statements. But just like Kaede said, did. And just like Kaede did. I need to calm down. Focus one at a time. I have an alibi. What is your alibi? I in the classroom. When I was running from the I tried hiding in the bathroom. I didn't know Are you sure? Wait, my own room. Okay, so no weak points there. I have an alibi. I'm running away from Gota. What is your alibi? I tried hiding in the classroom. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you stay at the gym? No, in my own room! Did you stay at the gym? That's one of them. Hmm. I just sort of everyone's saying it's like how you did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was running away from Gota! What is your alibi? Tried hiding in the classroom. Okay, okay. I'm starting to get confused. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Just give me a second. Hiding in the classroom. Bathroom. Then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. my own room. There's no. The only weak point I can spot is in uh, Kai not Kai Day. In his his statement and in Kibo's. This statement. These two sections are the only ones with weak points. Witnessing Ryoma. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you really leave? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room! Damn it! Alright, try again, try again, try again. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Are you sure you 
do not what? Oh, oh, fuck! Come on! You do not stay at the gym. Please, please, yes! I heard it! Jesus Christ. All right. No, I think Hiromi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Oh, wait. It's not an auto. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi stopped and spotted me. That was right after I left going to his lab. So it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking and then let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. So it wasn't, um, Kirumi then. A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. And they were together until nighttime. Gonto went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. I hate you. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. Jesus Christ. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tanks. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, we wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Yep. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mio, Kaido, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? Yes! But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. <sighs> Mew. Yeah. It's it's me. That's it. Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. See ya! Suck it, nerds! Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirumi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? No. That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me. She's kind of stop. That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Oh, Gonta see Miyu, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her tail, right? No, um, she uses her, what she call it, 
secret woman weapon. And then... Hmm? Oh, uh, well... I, uh, had used my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Ugh, I hate this. He was in her underwear and Gonta got weird feeling. Gonta, you poor bastard. So, Gonta ran away. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. Bullshit. And I mean all the time. I hate you so You're much. You're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. I'd rather tug at your throat. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. <laughs> yep, it Thank took a you, while. Kibo. But at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Alibis for yesterday had been recorded in the monopad. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. That's the culprit by it. Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito. Until he's proven he's guilty, I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. <sighs> no, any idea of yours is gonna make this more difficult. What? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. <sighs> so let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is, yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Oh, yes, my God. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that... Wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? That is true. And... Huh? What do you mean, and? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! What the fuck is happening? If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Let's host an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun! Look at the culprit in their lives when we find a contradiction. We'll Is this gonna be the another- culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Is this gonna be another, like, panic- panic debate? Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit! Yep. I don't agree. Oh my god. Do you agree with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? 
I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the light. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is... Oh, this. my God. <laughs> why? Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Lady Homa. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to barn. Well, that would explain where it went. Culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun. One of these two had it. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaito's or Maki's? No, you had Kaito's, remember? Yeah, he had Maki's. That's it. It was... Maki's motive video, right? Oh, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? God damn it. Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. Oh my god. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies, rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to quit screwing around? We don't need to debate who's a culprit. I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Which means. Kind of wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he. But Maki isn't a culprit either. Huh? What? What? I agree. What? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Honey, I hate to tell you that this, but that means nothing. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? He sounds like Fuyuhiko. No, he might actually be that stupid. Damn idiot! Otoa Dan's idiot! Oh my god. Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? No! Whether I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not, that's the only thing that matters. So, you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. But, I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko, too. Because she's a girl, right? Want to believe, huh? <sighs> yeah, I think I understand that. No, Wanting I Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. Even 
idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. Then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believe in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. I could trust my logic. Maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings, too. I'll believe in Maki as well. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi! I knew I picked a good sidekick! Oh my god. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? at night time? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. That's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during night time. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Is that... Why? How can I do this? It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Of course. Well, time for the intermission. I don't see why not. God, this would be more fun if people were here. It seems the voting has finished! Now then, let's see the result! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice, or the dreadfully wrong one? The hell are you saying? Wait a second, what result? Voting time hasn't happened yet! Aww. Yes it has! Don't you remember, Monosuke? Oh, oh. No it hasn't! You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro! Uh -oh. oh man, you're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow! I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell you Wait saying? a second! We don't know the culprit yet! Aww. Yeah, who killed Rantaro? Oh, oh. This was chapter one's case. How can you be this forgetful? 
I am silent, as always. Class trial resume! Another shocking truth. Back to square one. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow, what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like this one. Threshold of an amazing adventure. Anyways. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I... More one to talk. <sighs> exactly. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her Cubs pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides mine. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his Cubs pet? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have been someone who knew who had each pad. Okay, so my suspect suspicion is either Kokichi or or Kirumi because she was in Rantaro's not Rantaro Ryoma's room because he requested that she clean it up. Like y'all remember that? So, hmm. I'm gonna start with Kokichi, and if it's not him, I'll try Kirumi. If not her, I have no fucking idea. It's you! That would be Kokichi. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here! <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video! So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. I said it before, but I said it again. I'll say it again. You are a fucking nothing character, and I hate you. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? That's a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say the base crumb? Now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Shibumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. And that's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Mach. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! 
Angie, you're flip-flopping awfully quickly. No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Okay. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. I'm sorry if I'm being really quiet. I'm starting to get to the point where some of this stuff gets over my over my head if I don't concentrate, so I'm just trying to focus on what they're saying. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had who's so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. see. Anyway, if Okichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That Anna. means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. Did they scrub? If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie? She's not lying! Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Verona during that time. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of the case. And I, I said I would believe in Kaito. That means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like I did. So now I have to lie. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Damn it. Uh. Ah, shit. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Did I it? They would have come forward already. If you can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. I As think, expected, Maki is lying to us. I think I have to lie uh, during uh, Q's then statement. Then it's the same as an outright lie! Okay. Every second is precious, so I gotta save it up. Did anyone see those? There we go. I always know the truth. I might not be able to prove they met, 
but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs when we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe, friends. Okay, so maybe now is the debate scrum? Y you're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in a turn of sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him, too. The leap shall set you free. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar, especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying to anybody. All right, that proves it, then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So, everyone is culprit again? So, we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well... The gym is locked at night time, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No, definitely I don't not. Think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime, and if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves... The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? Dick Cheese? But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. Seriously, what the fuck is Dick Cheese? Actually, do I want to know? It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title for a guard. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Himiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Here we go. What? A 
disagreement. There Maybe we go. Split down the middle again. Then the ultimate academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Yippee! We've been waiting for this. Jeez, we gotta do that whole crazy thing again. Seems like our opinions are split on this matter. If we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If I can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would be would have been for nothing. I won't fail. Here we go! Yahoo! The body put in the product tank. Debate scrum start. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Angie. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. This is not possible. You simply missed the culprit. Here we go. We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Lucky! Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. That's true. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko! It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too! Crowd. Come on. There we go. All right, we did it. We're doing it. It's true that you cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Windows higher than the piranha tank. It's pretty close by. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open. The whole investigation. Mm hmm. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryomo is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. <laughs> Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know! They used the ladder in the gym! You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? No, I don't think that method is possible because... Uh, damn it. Oh no! <sighs> God, I hate when this happens. The ladder doesn't reach the window. That's it! Yeah, okay. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? 
If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Then they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gota used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. Gentlemen, not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Got it, muscle heads? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. The there we you go. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Ha! <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Do you have the answer then? But of course. But of Tell course. Tell Shuichi, blow them all away with the truth. Uh, I, uh, actually don't know that yet. What do you mean? What? The culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. I might have an idea. Seriously? Serves you right! You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty! Kids just need to shut up and take their licks! What are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for! Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi! Uh, I know. I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I... Am I no good as a detective? I can't do this. I can't... I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out... We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes. That's... We were so caught Damn up it. in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? That's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, the culprit is someone in this room. <sighs> Gonta, honey. That's important to remember. It's not as if the everyone here wants to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage the trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. Not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the pool. What? Amy Cobalt under the bridge? If we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. Moving on. Black piece of fabric. First, Ooh. let's establish the crime scene. I think the black fabric is going to do with it. Leomo was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible! We should consider places where water is stored! The only place that fits is the pool. Even if you use magic, there's no other way! Well, it must be the pool then. Now that little turn drowned in the toilet! Shut your mouth, you noisy Sal. Sal! Stop, 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 stop. I agree. It is very difficult to watch. Jesus Christ. Cause of death is a certainty. Rima drowned in water. 
pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my doubts. First, let's establish the crime scene. Wasn't it the dorm room? Leoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilet? Impossible! We should consider places where water is stored! The only place that finishes... Fuck. Yeah? The only place with lots of water is the pool, right? So why can't it be the pool? Oh no! <sighs> but there is one other place, but it's not here! First, let's establish the crime scene. Pool rules. Wasn't it the dorm room? Oh, no, 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 There we go. That's wrong. The pool could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at nighttime. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. Yep, a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. What? Only after you leave do I realize how much you mean to me. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. What the fuck are you three talking about? Anyway. We can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there- Damn it! I know one place, 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 I know one place. Bam. This is it! The sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink? And I believe those scratches were caused by. Wait, there we go. This is it. The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lab. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I'm certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. Mm hmm So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Same disgusting thing. I don't want to hear it. That Ooh. crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down... Oh my god, go get you, shut up! Stop! Please stop! But how did Culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <sighs> Though there's no way we can be sure, now that he's not... Damn it! he was ambushed, I'm pretty sure the Culprit got Ryoma by... Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little old me. I'm just talking to myself. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Jeez. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. 
on it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. You say that after we've already determined that. But how did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? Isn't Ryoma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? Window! There! The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete! No. Nope. Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right! I apologize! I must go on a journey to reflect on this! We keep hitting dead ends, since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. You're missing something. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the cause the case is becoming clearer. But to determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how it to get from the third floor window to the gym. Alright then. I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. Why do you have to just do something? <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Hold on. There we go! Now I'm thoroughly warmed up! When you have to deduce how things are connected, Psych Taxi will start up! The objective of this mode is to gather the ladder cubes lying around to form the question. How who left click to accelerate and use the A and D keys to steer left and right? By picking up ladder cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you've completed the question, you head towards the escort that has the correct answer. Wait, escort? Oh, oh no. No, come on! If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car! If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, you will take focus energy damage! If it's getting dangerous, use spacebar to concentrate! Stay calm and avoid them! Please drive safely! Enjoy the ride! Please respond at your earliest convenience! This is gonna be weird, isn't it? Oh my god, this is fucking weird. Not too bad, honestly. Oh god, the controls are really heavy, though. Damn it. The Brody was brought from where? Okay. Lab window. I believe it was the lab window. what is happening. All right, phase two. Next question! I don't know what the hell is happening, but I think it's good. The 
body was brought to the gym from where? Run over them just to get them in your car. Jesus Christ. Next question. Holy crap, this is weird. What the hell did I take before starting this? Oh, Monokuma? What the? Why was Monokuma in the middle of the road? How was it moved from the classroom window to the gym? From the window... From window to window? Okay. The body was brought from the lab window to the gym window. Okay then. I've got it. Ryoma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. No matter how small it is. Now, I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Equipment to connect the windows. I believe... Rope? There! I would have thought it was the... Um... The... the... found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. I would have thought it was the wire because it would have left those scuff marks on the on the frames, but I guess that makes sense. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? Mm hmm. So, they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Yep. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? It's about 65 feet, so yeah. The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows, According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Don't Even ask her, Smoogie. Wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Another rope? There was only one, though.
Oh, then it's impossible. Sorry. Oh. No, I'm sure there was another rope. Or at least something that could be used as a rope. I know what it is. I know what it is. I was only half right about this. This is it. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so... First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then... Shit. Damn it. And tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Yeah, that's how it would have worked. That helped culprit make one rope that reached both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. Aww. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. How do you use them? Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Oh, no. Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! If it's inspiration coming from you... you get it. Tell us already. Thank you, Himiko. They handcuffed the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Please keep keep me go. You're I think you're getting her off. Tarzan? Um, but they That's also the thing you question the in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope? Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. We wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Well, there is one way. Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me! You were definitely on to this. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. It would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how do they get near it? All we know is that... All we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have used something else. What would that be? What could they have done? Alright, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. Yeah, it is. Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. And then together, we're going to save everyone. I, pre together? I appreciate your optimism, Kaito, but I don't think that's going to happen. You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm going to leave the rest to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can do this. We'll solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the ropes to move the body between the windows. Dang. Hangman's Gambit. It was an inner tube, right? Ooh. 
rope. What? No. Rope. It, don't tell me it's rope way. What's rope way? What? What's this supposed to mean? Yet, the culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. What's a ropeway? What is a ropeway? A transportation system of materials or people used to used especially in mines or mountainous areas, which are suspended from moving. Oh, so they probably use the. Oh, okay. Well, can you answer it? Some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. Yeah, we do. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. Oh, mind mine. <laughs> and it begins. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mine will begin. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces! Use the mouse to move the cursor and left click to erase pieces! Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. You ever play Bejeweled? It's kind of something like that. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. Time, influence gauge, peace, okay. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on the top of an object are gone, you can select the object at the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. Now, uh, what was the order again? White, pink, yellow, white, white, pink, yellow, white, pink, yellow, white, pink, yellow, white, pink, yellow, white. Okay. If there's one piece left, you can repeatedly left-click on it to break it! But that will occur... incur a time penalty! So don't just go clicking quick crazy! It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play! Thank you for your understanding! Alright, let's do this. Oh, I see. White, pink, yellow, white. There? What? Whoops. There we go. I didn't even mean to do that. I see it. That's really cool. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. The inner tube? Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Yep. Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made a rope way by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. Mm -hmm. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. Culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used okay, it to move themselves sense. and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the window sill. Mm -hmm. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. 
But why? A ropeway! You say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Well, shit. No shit! We didn't put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> what? Monosuke just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg! Cut it out! I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it! Right now. <laughs> then your little slip-up is actually the truth! Why didn't Freudian slip there, Monosuke? I don't know. I'm tired. P Pops? Bobo, Daddy's mad at you now! Yeah. Don't look at me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. Stop. Do not believe Monosuke. Monosuke. What? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Two. I want us all to get along. He is Monodum's right. Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Less attitude and more gratitude. Right Got it? This happening. Come on. The trial is just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Colbert really used ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. Wait, what? Hang on, I need to check something. Oh. Uh, I thought I said that to, to public. <sighs> oh my god, I'm a fucking dumbass. No wonder nobody showed up. Okay, so I was checking my phone after that, uh, that thing, uh, notification went off. And I saw a message from my friends saying that they think that I set the stream to private again oh my god i'm stupid okay i need to i thought i said that the public when i hit before i hit live i think i might have i should have ch changed it to public after i hit live oh my god this is embarrassing oh i'm so fucking stupid I'm still new to the whole YouTube streaming thing, I'm sorry. And mom, my face is red. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? The reason? Because they couldn't get in. It was nighttime. They didn't. They couldn't get in there and and get it out. Oh, Even God. if they wanted to get it, they couldn't because this took place at night time. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at night time. Hang on. Just a sec.
I'm just thanking my friend for uh, letting me know that, that the thing was set to private. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. That would it's make sense. If they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag. Hi, Gaiga. How you doing? Oh my God. So. Thank again. Thank you for telling me about this. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. It's no wonder nobody showed up. Jesus Christ. I'm still new to the YouTube to the YouTube streaming thing. I swear I set that to public before going live. I don't know why it still said unlisted unless I was mistaken and I didn't set it to public. Or I should have like done it after I hit live. I don't know. I'd have to. I'll have to check that next time. But Jesus Christ! Yeah, it would take too long, and they would have been busted if someone saw them. I swear, people but who are going to see this stream in the middle of the night are going to be so fucking confused. Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. And so am I for not realizing this mistake sooner. I hate myself. Sometimes. No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. Ugh. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. I never watched you during a trial. Well, it wasn't all that interesting, honestly. No, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Normally, I have people here to talk with during a trial, but I had no one because, again, mistakes, so... <sighs> I'm a moron. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. The best part's coming up. What do you mean the best part's coming up? Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. <laughs> that cheeky face isn't helping me, Gaiga. For God's sakes. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial to solving this case. We're just so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course... It would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. Fair enough. Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. Hmm? Oh, damn it! You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Eh. Uh. Well, Shuichi, you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? I am because I don't know if my hypothesis is correct now. What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. Context, Kaito. You believe in my detective skills? That's right! I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi! What is it? Your hypothesis. I'm not gonna say anything just in case this... Actually, you know what? I think my hypothesis is that... Kirumi is the culprit. Where is she? Let's see. It has to be you. There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Me? What? K Kirumi? 
We can see so what? Kurumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. See what? Kaga? Choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? Not really! But the only- I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. And not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for night time? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an interview. We all could have, except perhaps going to. To force Kirumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I just stay calm and find it. I, of course, am not the culprit. Crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for night time? I believe most of us. A chick! True, I have no alibi for night time, but the others do not have alibis either. That reasoning is too shallow to justify being suspicious of me. God damn it! I'm stupid! I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm during dorm room during night time. Do I Do I say this? I don't know! I don't fucking know! Alibi for night time? I believe most of us do not have one. Alibis for yesterday, insect meet and greet. So either maybe I was right and I had the wrong bullet. Uh, let me see. What? Did I did I did I not use yesterday bullet? I, I thought I used alibis for yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I thought I used that. No, I I, I, I guess I used the insect meet and greet one and didn't realize it. Like I said, I'm stupid. What? Oh no! So did I use the wrong weak point? We check alibis for yesterday. Shuishi, Kibo, Kiyo, Mugi, and Tenko were forced to gather in the ultimate entomologist lab for 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the insect meet and greet. After 5 minutes, 9 p.m., Himoko and Anji joined them as well. Kokichi was in the ultimate entomologist lab at 9 p.m. He was with Kirumi from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. By 11 p.m., he returned to the lab. Kirumi was in the gym until a little before 9 p.m. with Himiko and Anji. Kirumi was in the gym until a little before 9 p.m. With Himiko and Anji, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., she was with Kokichi. She was in the gym alone for around five minutes. Hmm. Maybe... Let me, let me see the insect meet and greet. I'm tempted to use Maki alone for this one. She was standing in front of her lab. No, that was on the floor above the ultimate entomologist lab. But it was also in the same room as the, or same floor as the ultimate tennis player's lab. Maybe she would have saw, no, that's around a corner. 
No. Okay, so it's not that one. The crime was committed nighttime. Let me try insect meat and gray. <laughs> Shit, that didn't work either. I was wrong. I know we were wrong. Shut up. I of course am not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. Do you have no ammo? Okay, what other? I evidence that proves you're the culprit. Okay, so let me review the weak points again. I'm wasting time, but I don't have anything else. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. It could have been done by anyone. Done by anyone. Maybe. Maybe it was that this one with with uh, anyone could have done it. <sighs> Wait, what? What happened? Oh, Q gets rid of the 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 tet. What? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me check. Uh, it's definitely not Maki alone. She wouldn't have seen anything. The Peach's account immediately after Peach left the ultimate smallage lab. No, that's not one of the pieces of evidence. The night before Shuichi and some of the others were forced to stay with the ultimate entomologist lab, Gonta, who was tricked by Kokichi. Himiko and Anji were brought in 5 minutes to 9 p.m. Shuichi and the others were forced to meet and participate in the meet and greet. Okay, maybe it was alibis for yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. I, of course, am not the cool. Gotta suck at aiming with this goddamn radical. You have no ammo, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not. I, I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull. Preposterous. That could have been done by. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yes! That's wrong! You're right! We just had- I just had to use it on the wrong weak point! Okay! Holy shit! No. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank! That's right. Yoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only, like, five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion! Up oh, here we go! Rebuttal showdown! While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Let's do this shit. If it was solely the rope and partition, I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that, however, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. The fuck is any ass? What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Shit! How does that prove I used the rope? I fail to see your point. Uh. Ah. I am referring to the rope. Tennis net cable. Now with that rope. Marked window frame. It is possible to reach Maybe? the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. There we go. I'll cut through your words. I have evidence. 
The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. Are those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? I thought it was Just only from the wire, the but no. Wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Okay, she shut the fuck up! Is Kirumi quiet because... because that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi! Shuichi is doing this for your sake! If it is for my sake then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone. For everyone? What are you trying to do? A duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like... You were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the Academy? Oh. Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Do you think Ryoma had Kirumi's motive video? Like I hypothesized earlier in that stream that was unlisted? Still mad about that. Very mad about that. You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me. But I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. What? She wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to! Kirumi? What is happening? Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else! Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gonta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfast for the best! She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. The fuck? Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. What is happening? Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede. So I'm not turning back now. 
They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when you determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final crew falls into place. The black fabric? The final crew? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? We're working on Don't it. you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone! No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. <laughs> Let's see where it is. Ta-da! This is it! The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because, like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? Do you think that was part of... Karimu's dress? Kirumi's dress? Kirumi. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? For her gloves. gloves! Your logic is flawed! Right? Her gloves? Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that! No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Elaborate, Shuichi. Finding out how that black fabric fits into the key is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Hell yeah! I get it out of the start! Wait, what? Ah, shit! What is this truth? What the... That is just your empty deduction. You continue to I tried holding everyone. it, but it didn't do anything. Shit! You are incorrect. What am I what doing? True. Oh, I see. You continue to confuse everyone. In this class trial. Everyone's life is at stake! Because of your self-righteous truth? Shit! Everyone might die! In this class trial? Yep. Everyone's life is at stake! I know! Because of your self-righteous truth? Fuck! Everyone might die! In this class trial? Oh my god. Everyone's life is at stake! It's starting to become tiring, Kirumi. I completely understand your reasoning. Fuck. But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. You only wish to protect everyone. Fuck. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. 
Damn it! What? 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 You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. What am I doing? What do I do? What I? What am I doing? But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. Final blow. What does that piece of trash prove? He removes gloves. Hell yeah! He's here. That is a very, the piece of very came from Kirumi's black glove. Very violent scream. Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands. There would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... and it fell into the pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> well, Hirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <laughs> oh boy. Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? I think she's about to blow. Kirumi, what's wrong? <laughs> In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. The Kaede was scared too. She didn't let the rope... She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through the, to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. I kept thinking. I kept going. This is where it led me. And I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Closing argument, bitches! Here we go! Right, let's see what we have. Handcuffed victim. Piranha swarming the tank. And friction on the glove. Use this pressure for the piranhas. I don't have that yet. Not handcuffed victim. In the gym. No. Where in the gym was tied. There we go. What was taken from the pool? Is that is this here? No. What was used to transport the rope away? No, I don't have any of those. I do have this one though. All right. Where's the body carried to? Oh, wait, 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 I do have this. Damn it! Uh... No... Where's... In the gym, the rope tied... There we go. Process of elimination. Alright. Metal handcuffs in the water. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Fuck. Then long iron the culprit took from the gym. 
This. There we go. All right. And then... What was taken from the pool? There's that. That's where we... There we go. Okay. That's what this one's for. Okay, okay, okay. I misunderstood. And then finally, boom. This is the truth of the case. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with Piranha swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the Piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. Oh, that's why if they started on Act 5. Okay. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank. And removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Mm -hmm. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. And used the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. Nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. <sighs> then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Oh, hi, Rentaro. How did you miss this? Um, so, um, that was my fault. Yeah, I accidentally set the fucking, um, I, 
I didn't set the privacy setting to public, so for a good majority of the trial, no one saw that I was live. So that was my fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... I'm still new to the whole YouTube streaming thing. I'm used to streaming on Twitch, so this... Like... <laughs> I'm really sorry for the confusion, mate. I seriously, I just... Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. Oh. Uh, I'm still mad about that. Again, I'm really sorry. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. Oh, God. You know what's funny? It cold until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. I wouldn't have known that my stream was set to unlisted if it wasn't for Gaiga telling me on a, on a, uh... Discord message, which I saw by chance because I was checking the reminders that I set for myself at around 9 o'clock, so... Oh my god, I, there would have been a chance that no one would have saw my stream until after I uploaded the VOD. So, but it, thankfully the VOD is still there, but... Oh my god... I'm still really sorry about that, man. Like, seriously. And thus... The gym and the lab windows were connected by a single row. Like I said, I'm still new to this. And I'm a dumbass, so I'm sorry. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. Also, I love how after you sent your message, the viewer duration went from zero to two straight hours. That's the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the uh, jet. A lot of it was silent because I was trying to concentrate on what was going on. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Same here, man. Same here. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. Although that thing begs the question. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. Although that makes the question, where did the ring from Kirumi's glove go? Did it sink? Oh, it was just a piece of it. Okay, that makes sense. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. So it wasn't the whole thing. Again, I'm stupid. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. 
They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuri. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. But to end like this... Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi... Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. Hmm. So, it's decided. Here it comes. Here what comes. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. But we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. That is right. No need to worry. Oh, Monodem. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. All right. Let's go. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off. It's voting time. <sighs> Here we go. Voting has finished. Let's see the result. What's what's coming? What's happening? Geiger, what are you alluding to? The results? Why is there one that voted for Shuichi? Hello? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice, or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> oh my god, guy, gotta calm down. Rotaro's taking it up a piece as it is. Jesus. Another A in the bag. Holy shit, I got an A on everything. That's cool. Oh yeah, back route. I think that only happens when you lie really well, but I... I don't think I'm going to be getting those. Maybe in my spare time, I don't know. Oh my! You've all voted correctly! What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome! The blackened who killed Ryomi Hoshi is Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! <laughs> Yay! Bravo! Bravo! I can't do all of them at once. Thank goodness. Phew! Thank goodness he managed to get through the class trial you again. Are you kidding me? There's nothing good about this at all! Why? Why did it have to be Kirumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gonta no can believe it. Kirumi was so helpful for everyone. <sighs> you two seem awfully excited about this. <laughs> Should I be suspicious? Same Kirumi is also culprit? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! How long have you been lying to us? The truth is... Is that why you took such good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? 
You mean she's not my mom? Jesus hey. Christ. She never was your fucking mom. Damn it. Hey, Kirumi. Please tell me. Why? You were always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. I'll never forgive humans. No way. But this... But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Even with commentary... Enough with the commentary already! Say. I can't read. Well, Kirumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? No! No, it can't be! Say it ain't so! That was just another lie, too! No. I don't think so. I still believe Kirumi cares about us. What? And how do you know? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? That is what a detective would say. Um. Kirumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? Um. You mean like from the motive video? So Kirumi watched hers after all? Um. Earlier, Kirumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from an important someone in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that is not it. I'm just... lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you will regret what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already! Otherwise we can't accept this outcome! Please! Please, Kirumi, tell us! I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please! Understood. Very well then. If you are also desperate to I know, I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth. Please and thank you. Yes. Yes, I understand. Correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded with you your motive video? All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, how do you see your motive video? Hey. Perhaps Kirumi received her own motive video. Huh? Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yes. Correct. No one had my motive video but me. The video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. What's going on? That's not possible! Monokuma, what the hell's going on? Huh? Hmm? You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being such... What does that mean exactly? Yeah, don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my god, they did screw up! <laughs> oh my god! Huh? Uh... Um... Oh! Oh! Was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Hmm? Not supposed to. Dumbass! It's all Mono Fanny's fault! She passed him out without checking the names! What? I didn't know! Monotaro should have checked the names too! Wait a minute, I don't even remember passing out any videos! It was my fault. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No, no Monodom! It's not your fault! Okay. Oh, the Mono Cubs are in trouble! It's all off row. I'm sorry, too. Ah, yeah. it seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy! Daddy! Hey. It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault. Forget it. Father! Father! Thank goodness. What? what the hell is this mushy feel-good crap? You stupid. You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. My plan begins. Well, I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. I see. The Monocubs merely distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Right. 
was was in your video. What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt anyone will believe me. So? If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video together? That's right! Yes, that would be much better! Let's hurry up before Daddy gets bored again! How thorough of you. Yes, I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. All right. Let's see. After Kirumi had spoken, the Monicums began playing the video. All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. <laughs> Is this what y'all wanted me to see? Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. Her excitement is pretty, um, contagious, so it's understandable. One fateful day, she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. Excuse me? He asked Kirumi to make this country great again and transferred all his authority to her. Excuse me? Okay, that probably did not age well. No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> okay, then. Be. What? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remembered? Wait! Please, hold on! That video is true? So she runs the entire damn country! Well then! <laughs> what is this? That's ridiculous! There's no way Kirby's really the Prime Minister! No, it's the truth. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important people to me this is my are the devotion. citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past, but he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. Sweet, sweet fulfillment. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me, because this makes no sense, and I gotta take a dump. I see. No one needed to know that last bit. I see. So Kirumi was the real prime minister running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? I really don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human. Even though he's a heartless robot, I want to punch you in the throat. How rude! How rude! I am not pretending! I'm still learning! I see! Uh, I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible! I was aware of Kirumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister? What? Then Kirumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of country's future? Actually... The motive video aside, Kirumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Whoops, what do you mean, whoops? Yoo-hoo! 
Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Hey, hey, I get the key Rumi is very important, but what was that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I, I don't know, actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um, With our memories lost. That's... Wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? The ultimate hunt is connected to the unpredicted crisis facing the nation? That is what I said, yes. Um, if that's true, how are they connected? What is the ultimate hunt anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening in the, to the nation while I am here, inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know what the most important people in my life were safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. If so. So you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But, but if those are the options, of course you picked everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Kirumi from doing that because we selflessly wanted to live. I don't like that. What should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kirumi is dead... Why? Doesn't that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait! <clears throat> Excuse me. Say, that Monokuma planet... What's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? You know how many people live on this country? Like a hundred million easy. Always messing around. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way he, they could really. Bears do not fly. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Now nah, who cares? Bears do not lie. Bears do not lie. Hey, um... I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? Nothing is beyond your power. What kind of arrogant, ridiculous? One hundred percent. That is one hundred percent a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? What's so funny? Cause you guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? <laughs> Hey, cut it out! This is serious! Oh? How long are you gonna keep talking about Kirumi? Dang it! Let's just talk about Ryoma! You will be ashamed to completely neglect him! Oh, I see. That's right. You know you motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill? Weird! Ryoma, not that weak. When he uses his Shukuchi method, even Gonta could not catch. Do not agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Sorry, not sorry. Huh? What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um, what do you mean? I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. I'm gonna get on my knees real quick because getting on my because sitting in this chair is starting to hurt. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterwards I told that him. That is correct. I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded. Got it. So you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Your if you got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> <sighs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis ball lines around. And then, he turned his back toward me. <sighs> At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew he forfeited his life right then and there. Well then. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Then... Then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed? But... Wait a minute. It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? Because... Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since he didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute! You're talking as if Ryoma saw the motive video. Didn't you just say he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm -hmm. Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I 
probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what is your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he wanted to look for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch him, you've got a motive to kill. But... But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who will be in the video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> once I know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words... In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So please... That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. Which means you shouldn't have shown him this motive even in the first place. Hey! What do you mean? What did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty? Okey-dokey! Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? Oh, no. All right! Back! Who's the most important? is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Well, that's... Sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, seriously. No one... No one was important to him? Always messing around. <sighs> That's what he, what he was shown. If he saw something like that... Mm. He had none to, to care for and no who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kirumi claim his life. I see. So, that's why... Okay, give me a second. Oh my god, this is hurting. Ugh, oh, Jesus. I would have thought that that sitting on my knees would have been less painful, but no, it just hurts more. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet with me. It, it can't be. He just gave up then? Damn. It's hell with that. That damn moron. But, but. It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have no too many reasons to live. Because. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kiverly? For too many reasons. Yes. You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing while met the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. My apologies. I want to live. Kirumi. <laughs> Monokuma. Going to have question. You need something? Oh? What is it? Hey! Can Gonta get blackened instead of Kirumi? Huh? What? Gonta. Gonta, not smart boy, but even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <sighs> Kirumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Um. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kirumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kirumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people out on her shoulders, right? Yeah, Gonta, no! Unfortunately. Logically, Kirumi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez. Oh, Jeez, maybe it would have been better if we got into Cobert long. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, man. If Kirumi survives, then the nation's future will be secured. Then what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I, I shouldn't have... Shuichi! What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my sidekick, then suck it up! Huh? What? Hey! That goes for all of you. To hell with all the value of life shit! Alright! Life's not just some thing. You can't trade it or put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. It's not just something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't put do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. 
As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I want to live. <coughs> I haven't traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. <sighs> the idiot's talking again. But, but he's right. I mean, you're right too. He's an idiot, but he's right. So divine. Yep. He's an octopus damn idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up. Is it because you're using what's that term called, where you only only surround yourself with people you see as lesser than you? I feel like she's using that. Hey, shut up! I told you not to stop calling me an idiot! Maybe a stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Jeremy certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Shaken? Because? Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kirumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up. Even now. <laughs> uh, stop it with that face! She was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? What? But... But Monokuma would never allow Blacken to escape punishment. So maybe... She wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kirumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable cretin I've ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, even allow me to ex... Yet allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? Wait! What he just said was true? Me? You try to trick Gonta? Try to trick everyone? Me? Seriously? You backstabbing cunt! Cut it out. Enough! She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live! So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Huh? Kirumi? I see. You still refuse to give up. So what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive. No matter what it takes. If I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat carrion to survive. Ew. I will survive! I will do anything, anything to survive! She screamed and started running. Ah! Okay then, Jesus Christ. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was completely a undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here! Wait for it. There's no way I'm letting you out of here! Jesus Christ! It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. R run! Run! Run, Kirumi! Please run! Hurry! Run! Please hurry! Hurry, run! Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please! I will live. I refuse to die in a hellhole like this. Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. For my nation. For my people. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! You weren't seriously expecting her to escape, did you? <laughs> I will not die! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Oh my god, they have separate animations for, for separate characters. That's amazing! What the? Strand of agony. What is happening? Oh! Oh boy! You really should have seen this coming, you know? 
I know, it's awesome! Oh my god! I don't think this is gonna be the end. There's no way this will be the end. Oh my god! That is just cruel and unusual! Well, my time has come. Indeed it has. Goodbye, brother. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, Jesus. Turns out my hypothesis was also correct in that front. Why, Monodom? Why'd you kill Monosuke? A Monosuke. Oh my god, he threw up too. Okay. If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterwards. Monosuke. He was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. We don't need him. Yeah. Don't need him? We feel remaining Mono Cubs must get along. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not, forgive that. not if he knows what is good for him. Huh? Eh? Holy shit, Mono Tom is insane! This academy belongs to us. The edge of the Mono Cubs begins now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Holy shit. How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man! That's and yet, this angsty attitude of yours is just so cute! Must be hitting your teen ears. So it's so cute, cute how your little crew who has shrunk by one number. Yup, shrunk. You're not getting any larger, you know. So uh, it's cute. so unbearably cute! Oh, this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze! Oh, what the hell? Huh? Huh? Fuck. Who are you calling an ugly bitch? Stop it! It doesn't matter! Now's not the time for that! <sighs> Kirumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore! I watched this trial countless times, so I don't know why it took me so long to realize that Kirumi's spiderweb pattern on her dress is way too close to her execution. Wait, really? Shit, I'll have to watch the VOD and, and check that. That's so cool. If that's true. Am I gonna end up like that too? I'll protect you. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, isn't that what Atua said? Because Atua says so. All desire. Even your desire to escape this place can corrupt you beyond redemption. It's Monokuma who is corrupt. He is the one who distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. Those motive videos were more dangerous than we thought. To have driven Kirumi that far. That's true. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirumi he did not want us to show the videos. She's thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey! If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course! That's not our consensus from the big. <clears throat> so shit. That was our consensus from the beginning. Not including you, of course. However... I had assumed Kokichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But that did not come to pass. What, I wonder, were his intentions? Uh, I never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirumi said. Uh, um, what Kirumi said? Everything you just saw is true. 
Enjoy all your memories upon watching that video. That's what she said earlier, correct? Huh? Huh? What about it? Uh, um... She said she remembered and didn't sound like a... <clears throat> and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of a flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kirumi remember something she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um... Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm convi convinced. Now I'm convinced, God damn it! It's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right! The best way we... The best... It's best that we... Fuck's sake! It's best that we not remember our motives, for everyone's sake! Oh dear. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've ever heard yet. That's so mean. How rude! I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Maybe seeing Kirby's final moments has made me change my views. Because... She tried to escape until the very end. The running away to live might not be that bad idea. You're right. Maybe... Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A f entire history. We had just lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned to the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you even have a brain to use. Like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you. Anyways, the killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to Atua, we'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you just staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. What? But stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, um... Different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taking somewhere far away? Far away? Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Now, now, it won't take long. So just listen to what I had to say. What is it? Well then, what is it that you have to say? Um, Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A worse liar than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Maki admitted it during the trial, remember? Ryomi wanted her to show him his motive video because she was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? The blackmail? Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So we used that to blackmail her. I bet he did something like... If you don't show me the motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she was met with Ryoma. She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! What is going on? Why, you... What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. Oh my <gasps> god! You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? 
Yeah, you can probably step my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right? This ultimate assassin. Oh, so that's why she didn't want us to go into her lab. Okay, then. Sweeps week. Another achievement. Servant's gloves. Man, your reaction was so disappointing. What? What? Excuse what me? What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. What the fuck is happening? We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Oh. What the legitimate fuck? Transfer student from beyond the grave. Okay. Well, first of all, Maki isn't who she said she was. But also, hey! It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor for the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Holy shit! Come on, man. What the heck is this? You know, my defense, fucking, um, how have I already forgotten his name? Fuck's sake. Kokichi lies a lot, so I thought he was just fucking with us, but goddamn. It's like Weapon Warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the Moda video, right? Anakuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because he saw that... Mm -hmm. hmm? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. <laughs> yeah, you can probably stop my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You'd rather kill me from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide all their killing. If they find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. These robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still the, in the process of collecting data. Please give me data, please! Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing everyone here... Good thing everyone's there to stop her. But what about next time? Cause Atua says so. Let's let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That's the biggest threat to all of us who wish to live. Hey. Survive. Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? But... Got it. I'll help too. I don't want her another killing to happen. Wait! Wait, you don't have to take it that far. 
It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak a sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind. Um. Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't Akito Master be saying those things? It'll be okay. Everyone's so harsh on her. Nobody would have to openly tell someone that they kill for a living in a place you're supposed to murder people. That is true. If that's the case, then Atu and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. Maybe this is what the reaction she was expecting, so that's why she hit it. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to eat, pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow! Wow! That kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Ugh. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? Dude, the proof is around you. Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay. Let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Don't I? You should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonto. Like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Hi! Well, well. <clears throat> oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Monokuma! Stay back! Everyone, get behind Gonta! He Himiko, get behind me! I'll surround... My... <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe! Quiet! Are you said I don't need to use his reactions! It's almost half time, so the start should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I said I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize! Huh? Excuse me, my adorable little cubs are coming? That's strange. <laughs> Yay! They're finally here! Yay! You're so cute today! It's practically obscene! Seriously? Just wow! You guys are seriously cute! Have you always been this cute? <laughs> ah! The shark of my super cute kids! She's to be making me so bold! Holy shit! I in patches! He's actually balding! Ah, gross! I'm cold! Very cold! Hey, my cute little cubs! Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold! I can't stand it! Hurry! I want to go somewhere warm! Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? From now on, I will be calling these shots. Oh my god, Madodam is, is taking over the entire operation. Holy shit. Yeah. Ah, good one, kids. <laughs> Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for so long. You've become predictable. It's the age of the monogums now. I'm with the old and with the new. What? what? But what about all the longtime fans who... Anyways, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work it in your tan? Yeah. Has-been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? You were saying. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. But the academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, father. Why do I get the feeling that there's gonna be some weird twist to this? No way! Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst! It's completely and utterly wrong! No! 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 <laughs> He's balling again. Uh, Age of the model cubs, bitches! It seems the shock made him bald. This time for good. Oh, now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. 
a wonderful prize. Um, let's see what the prize is t this time. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. That is so good to be for the door. I knew that had to come to that door had to come to play eventually. It's late for me. Toodles. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Wow. Thanks, Bean. What a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, bravo. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. I had a feeling this was more junk. Oh man, we didn't need more junk. We need to. We had way too much anyway. And his name was Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Now fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually, also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you regain more of your memories. He's still there. <laughs> Jeez, those cups suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. Can I strangle this kid? Can I strangle this kid? Do I have permission from the audience to strangle this kid? I will strangle this kid. I'll commit that to my memory then. I've recorded your intolerant marks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... so what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Woohoo! Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun! I don't know if we all... if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Okay, got it. Going to protect you. Maki, get him. Nobody's going to blame you if you strangle Kokichi again. Yeah, please. Ge but genuinely, please do it. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But... Yeah, all that aside, what are we going to do with that thing? Oh, I forgot I was here. <laughs> um, let's leave him here. He's just sitting there. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Oh my goodness. All right, time to mess with Maki shit so I can get more loose change. All right, anything else? There we go. I'll just be here. Um, you kids have fun. Um, bye. Would you like to leave? Sure, I got nothing better to do. But actually, before we I end the stream here, there's something I want to check. I'm hoping I can check it. I'll check that later. There's something I want to do real quick, and I'm hoping that it'll allow me to do it. Oh, whoa. There were fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. <clears throat> cool. I knew it. He's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. Hmm. Ah, really? Huh. Oh, you're just making Himok Miko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himok Miko when she's mad. I know. No, I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But Kimiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. I feel you on that, sister. Jesus. That's the only reason you don't do it. Anyways, you two get the hell out of my way. I got places to go and mana coins to possibly waste. No, it won't let me do it. Damn it! 
Uh, I was hoping I can grind off screen so that I can like get the key to the thing so I didn't have to do it on stream. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess I'll just end the stream here real quick. Just let me get next to the door. Out the door in here, door stairs. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here. We'll see what we'll see what's behind the the door and where the rest of these objects go in the next stream. But and this time I won't be an idiot and, set, and keep it on unlisted, because my God, I am still so mad about that, and I'm still really sorry about that. That was really fucking fucking. That was a huge blunder on my part. So I'm gonna. Hang on. I'm gonna save. Alright. And I'm gonna leave this stream here. Thank you, friend Taro and Gaiga, for showing up for the last part of the stream. I'm so sorry for not realizing that I was, um... That my stream wasn't showing for any of y'all until, like, the very last seconds of the trial. Or at least the ending bits of the trial, but... <sighs> okay. Oh, I hope to see y'all next week, and I hope that I don't make the same blunder again. So, I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll be able to watch more next time, lol. Yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, see ya.